Alice in the Frat House. I'm back! Hello! We are outside. We're outside because for the first time in three days it's not raining. It's supposed to start again soon. I don't know, I kind of doubt that. But uh, yeah, school's been out for three days and it's been pouring for three days. So nothing of any substance of what I need to get done has been getting done. Um, I've had a lunch date with Jack. That was today. Um, I've driven people all over the place. And we've watched it rain a lot and that's been about it. So, I wanted to show you something kind of sad, but okay in the long run. Um, my regular size brown Midori, my first Midori, kind of met with an unfortunate fate. Um, he got chewed by a puppy. Not my puppy. We don't have a puppy. I, I, can't, I can't take care of anything else. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I left my bag down where I shouldn't have, and we puppy. It's totally not his fault. These little puppies, do you think? Got a hold of it, and uh, you know how many times I've said that leather is delicious and that that paper is delicious? He thought it was delicious. He thought it was just divine. So <laughs> he had a little snack, and uh, I said, please let me know if he gets sick. I felt terrible. Um, and they felt terrible, but it, I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's okay. Um, I had been wanting to try out like a field note size or a passport size. I'm sorry, I'm holding the camera with my hand and my hair is in my face. Oh, welcome to summer. And I have allergy face really bad. Sorry guys, terrible allergy face. The outside hates me. Anyway, um, I'd been wanting to try like a field note size or a passport size. Um, just because so many people have asked if I'd ever tried that size, if I liked it. Um, and I thought, you know, for things like journaling and my 365.30 list. Sometimes I have a hard time with that stuff just because I'm looking at a big blank page and I just kind of freak out a little bit. Um, my friend Kimberly said that uh, a couple weeks ago when a couple of us were out for breakfast. Hi Kimberly. Hi Ramona. Um, she was like, you know, I'm, I'm going to try this in a smaller size when she goes to do art journaling because it's not a big blank page staring at her. And I thought, oh, that is so brilliant because I know that's my problem. Um, so I cut down this poor regular sized majority and to be fair the puppy had cut it down about halfway for me so I just kind of finished the job and uh, I put some a couple of small moleskin notebooks a um, couple of notebooks that my friend Kimberly had so kindly gifted to me um, those I was care I was carrying those in my larger uh, majority but those are going to go in the smaller one uh, so I wanted to show you that um, show you what I did with it and see what you think. So I'm going to put the shaky camera down and show you that. I'm so sorry. I tried to prop it up. The wind is, it's a little bit windy and it keeps knocking it over. So you're stuck looking at my face up close. I won't be uploading this in HD unless you really want to count all my wrinkles. So take a look at this and you guys let me know what you think. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, we're going to try to tolerate the weird lighting because there's actually sunlight today and the wind and the fact that my hands are a disaster and no fingernail polish. So that's a first. That's proof that it's summer break, you guys. <laughs> so, sorry about that. Try to ignore it. I didn't want to take the time to paint him because Liam's asleep and I want to do this while he's asleep. So this is, was my regular sized brown Midori Traveler's Notebook. Um, puppy ate this. <laughs> So, I, I basically trimmed off and finished what he started, and so far it sounds like he's fine. So, oh, I felt terrible. So this is what I did. It's, it's roughly field note size. Um, honestly, I've never had a field notes notebook, but I looked online and took the measurements, and I did already have, um, was it this one? I had grabbed this one and this one. You can kind of see up in here a tiny bit of blue. There were like two different shades of really like bright blue uh, Moleskine Volant notebooks um, packaged together. I grabbed them at Target and, um, and they were the exact same size as what I had cut this down to. So, if and when your Midori ever meets with an unfortunate fate, <laughs> but you still want to be able to say it because you guys look at this leather. How could I just let this go? It's, it's perfect. <laughs> Um, so what I did was because of where the top part, where the clasp was, would have been like here, um, was shot. The clasp and everything was still attached. He didn't, somehow he didn't make it through the elastic. I don't know if he didn't like the taste of it or what. So because I had to trim that off, I just put two holes in up there and used it that way. Just secured, you know, I just tied it, threaded it in the lower hole. Out the, low, out the upper one, I used 
um, directions from Ray Blake's instructions of how he makes um, his leather notebook covers. So, hi Ray! So that was that was how I threaded that and I just tied it in the middle. Uh, this was a six pocket craft folder that was in the brown majority that also got chewed a bit. So um, I trimmed it down. I didn't really have to trim it down a whole lot. Um, my big issue um, was that I had to cut it in half and then I just used packing tape back here to be honest. Nothing fancy schmancy going on here guys. Um, to make sure that that was long enough to accommodate this. See, there's that blue. You can see it there because I didn't cover the spine on that one. And then here's the other half of the six pocket craft folder. That was made using um, the same instructions as I've made all my other ones um, from Marianne's Pocket Full of Vintage um, Part 1 and Part 2 uh, six pocket craft folder videos. And I just wanted that to be wide enough to, you know, kind of wrap around the whole thing. And that's a lot. So, because the regular folder wouldn't accommodate it, I cut it in half, attached it with packing tape. I'm sorry, the wind's picking up, you guys. And this was a lightweight Midori insert in my regular uh, regular size that was kind of gnawed around the edges. So I took out what was gnawed. Um, I took the staples out of it because one was pretty close to the edge there and obviously I didn't cut this down too well. But I, I mean, it's still perfectly fine. And it's that lightweight paper that you guys know I have a big crush on. So I just trimmed off what was, you know, kind of chewed up, decorated it a little bit. Um, so there's, I have that one to use. Goodness gracious, we're picking up all kinds of stuff. This is one of those Volant notebooks. Again, there's the spine, so that's the blue. They were two different shades of blue. And I just covered it with some, they're kind of like card stock stickers. I'm sorry, the dog down at the bottom of the hill is out. Um, from the, the stickers are, they're thick. They're card stock kind of. Um, uh, Tim Holtz. That's what those are from. I just got them at Joann's. And then I, again, I'm addicted to these tip-ins since I did my uh, DIY fish pages, you guys. Um, so I just cut a bunch of smaller paper as little tip-ins. Because I know these, because they're small, I'm more likely to throw things in here. I'm more likely to doodle. I'm more likely to write little things. Um, because they're smaller pages, just to be honest with you. I just never thought about it. And then a lot of the washi tape, um, I had gotten the, the Tim Holt stuff was on sale at Joann's, and then a bunch of the washi tape was like 97 cents for two rolls. And it was stuff I'd kind of been looking at, but it was five bucks originally, and I thought, yeah, I'll just kind of wait and see what happens. And by golly, it went on, on discount. So I did that through that whole notebook. Okay, so that's that's one. And then the other notebook is also covered with um, the Tim Holtz stickers. This is going to be my 36530. I have gotten really bad about doing my 36530, and I know sometimes it was just because I would just look at a big blank page and just kind of go, eh. So I have written in the list. I need to catch up. So I've written in the list. And then this is the back side of that six pocket folder. Just I've got some extra paper in there if I want it and some extra stickers. So this, you know, I know I'd be kind of better about you know, I'll read a book like on the Kindle and I'll highlight quotes that I like. And then when I want to write them down, I find that I have to sit and go through my whole clippings file in the Kindle and copy them all down. So I just don't do it because it's, it's like, I actually have to make time to sit down and copy them down. This is little, if I'm sitting by Liam while he's taking a nap or something, um, I can get this out quietly and easily and scribble down a quote. And usually when he's taking a nap, I'm sitting next to him. Um, so I won't make too much noise doing that. At least till he dozes off, I'm sitting next to him. So that's what that's going to be. This will be, you know, just scribblings and notes. And because I love that paper, I couldn't let it go. And stuff from the kids can go in here, you know, little notes and post-its and drawings and whatnot. And uh, then my 36530 can go in there as well. So that is the plan for that. So see, even though... Even though it was sad, and I loved my majority, and maybe I'll get another brown one someday, but I, I don't need it. So, this is perfect. I can try out the smaller size. So, uh, you guys let me know what you think. Obviously, I, I left everything a little bit bigger than I should have, but I just haven't made time to, uh, I need to thin that tape down. I need to cut that tape and put those pieces of the folder closer together. Haven't done that yet, so it sticks out a bit. I don't mind. So, that is that. So, you guys, uh, let me know what you think. Okay? Thanks. Bye-bye.